hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we will be uh, right now starting from today we'll be posting a series of videos uh, dealing with the basic concepts okay the fundamental uh, concepts associated with uh, the things that we discuss uh, in the engineering tutorials such as electricity uh, electronics instrumentation communication so those belong to the advanced things which we are discussing but in these uh, series of videos we will be going back to the basics okay the minute concepts the introductory concepts which are mostly uh, senior secondary level physics okay the concepts of physics those we will be discussing so I will be posting a series of videos related to various sections such as uh, electricity and magnetism waves and oscillations uh, electronics and communication the, the section of electronics and communications which comes in the part two of uh, physics then optics so these have their uh, roots okay they have relation with what we are discussing in the uh, the, in the field of engineering so mostly they are concepts of physics so these videos are going to be very helpful for those who are in the first year of uh, their engineering uh, career or those who are in the at uh, the plus two or class 11 and 12 level okay so they can watch these videos to get their basics cleared so the first topic of discussion today is the introduction to the basic elementary particles so we'll be covering each and every concept in detail in these videos so you please watch them to get your basics clear so let's start with today's video which is the introduction to the basic elementary particles okay so we know that uh, all matter okay e everything which exists in this uh, universe all everything that all around us it consists of it is composed of three common elementary particles okay and they are electrons protons and neutrons okay we have discussed uh, about uh, all the advanced things related to that so we are going back to the basics and we have studied these things right from the school level but uh, these are uh, the main things okay which we are not going in uh, we are going into specifics about it okay now there is another important thing is that besides these three elementary particles there are many other elementary particles hundreds of other elementary particles that have been identified and discovered but they are not uh, really that important in our discussion right now so we'll be skipping those things and be focusing on these three elementary particles okay so we know that uh, in any the atomic structure of any uh, element the protons and neutrons they constitute the nucleus which forms the center of the atom and the electrons they revolve around the nucleus in certain well-defined paths called as orbits okay and each orbit or this uh, elliptical path they have certain fixed energy associated with them so we have discussed about uh, the atomic structure okay i have posted a video related to atomic structure of uh, semiconductors there i have uh, discussed about the various uh, theories uh, atomic theories related to this so you please check out that video okay so now what uh, the characteristic features associated with this elementary particles which we are going to discuss first is the mass of these elementary particles so here we have is the masses of the elementary particles first the electron which has a mass of about 9.10940 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg which is very which is almost negligible okay if we consider it in the real world from a point of view of the real world but 
in the in the atomic if we go in the atomic point of view okay then this has a very important contribution when it comes to the electric force okay so it cannot be neglected okay then we have is the proton the mass of the proton is about 1.67262 into 10 to the power minus 27 kgs and then we have is the neutron okay which is which has a mass of about 1.67493 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg so the proton and the neutron they almost have the same mass and uh, generally it is not uh, written in this way uh, you can neglect these digits okay you can only call it as 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg and this also 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg okay so you can uh, skip these part these portions okay next is the gravitational force in elementary particles now you'll be a little bit surprised that we are considering or discussing about gravitational forces uh, in elementary particles considering that their masses are the, the, their values okay the, the mass the masses they are so low values okay less values still we cannot neglect the fact that there is a gravitational force of attraction between the subatomic or the elementary particles so we have to take that into account so the gravitational force of attraction it exists between the subatomic particles or the elementary particles in general the gravitational force of attraction between two objects let's say they have a mass of m1 and m2 is given by the gravitational force fg is equal to g into m1 m2 by r square it is directly proportional to the product of the two masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them now let's say we have two electrons okay two electrons they are separated by a distance of let's say one centimeter we are just taking a simple case so the gravitational force of attraction that between those two electrons it will be we'll put the value of this gravitational constant g which has a value of 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 newton meter square kg minus to the power minus 2 and then we put the value of the mass of the electron which is this 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg and then we put the distance the separation which is r that is 1 centimeter or 1 by 100 meter square so the gravitational force the value it is 5.5 into 10 to the power minus 67 newton which is very 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 less okay very low so you can almost neglect it but still it has some contribution when it comes to the uh, the interaction okay the overall forces okay when it comes to that it still has a role to play okay so this is the gravitational force of attraction remember please pay attention here it is a gravitational force of attraction okay not repulsion okay so there is an attractive force which is caused only by the gravitational force between the subatomic particles now but it has been found through experiments that the same two electrons okay when they are separated by the same distance of one centimeter they repel one another by a force of 2.3 into 10 to the power minus 24 newton which is comparatively has a high value as compared to the gravitational force see the power is minus 10 to the power minus 67 newton but this repulsive force it has a value of 10 to the power minus 24 newton so it is significantly it has a significant higher value than the gravitational force so this is a force of attraction and this is a force of repulsion okay opposite behavior now this extra force this repulsive force between 
the two electrons okay this is called as the electric force okay this is called as the electric force or the electric force of repulsion because they are the same two subatomic particles or elementary particles they have the same nature so they repel each other so the interesting question here is what contributes to this electric force now in the gravitational force okay in the gravitational force the main cause of the gravitational force of attraction is the mass of the two objects okay the mass so the masses of the two objects contribute to the gravitational force of attraction similarly the electric force is caused by the charge okay here another important term comes into play which is the charge so we can say we have we can develop an interesting analogy here is that mass in gravitational force okay in the mechanical setting mass plays the same role as charge in the electrical domain okay so mass contributes to gravitational force which is strictly mechanics charge in the same way contributes to electric force okay in the electrical domain okay in the electricity and whole that whole that's that domain charge plays the same role so mass and charge are analogous quantities when we interchange between the uh, the fields of mechanics and electricity okay so charge is the main entity that contributes to the electric force now let us uh, have a comparison between the electric and gravitational force in relation to the subatomic particles or the elementary particles so here we see that the gravitational force of attraction between the two electrons here separated by a distance of 1 cm is 5.5 .5 into 10 to the power minus 67 newton and the same uh, two electrons separated by the same distance they have a electric force of repulsion of 2.3 into 10 to the power minus 24 newton so this electric force of repulsion is significantly higher so by what margin is it higher so you see if we divide it we see that it's almost 4 into 10 to the power 42 times larger than the gravitational force the electric force is 4 into 10 to the power 42 times larger so it is significantly higher so there this charge okay the concept of charge it comes into play in the field of electricity okay now so the electrical force of repulsion we found the value as 2.3 into 10 to the power minus 24 newton now the force between protons okay protons are the positive charge and electrons are the negative charge we know that so the force between protons okay two protons separated by a distance of one centimeter that is also a repulsive force okay so it has been found out the force has a value of 2.3 into 10 to the power minus 24 newton okay so the electric force of repulsion between two electrons and two protons they have the same value and the separation distance is the same okay so the from these uh, this whole thing okay the electric force of repulsion we can conclude that both electrons and protons they carry a charge okay that's why there is a electric force of repulsion that exists so it is sure that there has to be some amount of charge in the electrons and protons so, so that's why uh, there is a electric force of repulsion between them now the force between neutrons okay we know that neutrons are neutral but why they are neutral that can be experimentally verified because the neutrons 
they only have a gravitational force of attraction and no electric force of repulsion or attraction they have no electric force okay so as they have no electric force it means that they carry no charge it can be experimentally verified now we know we have studied in high school physics that uh, electrons are negatively charged protons are pos positively charged and neutrons are neutral they carry no charge but how can we prove it by this okay we carry experiments we see whether they have electric force of attraction or repulsion so it has been found that two neutrons when they are also separated by a distance of one centimeter they exert only gravitational force of attraction and no electric force so the gravitational force is caused due to the mass of the neutrons okay and as there is no electric force it can be concluded that they carry no charge it means that neutrons are neutral in nature the force exists the electric force exists in protons the electric force exists in electrons so it means that they carry some amount of positive and negative charge that's why there is an electric force of repulsion between them but neutrons they exert no electric force so it means that they carry no charge but only they have mass that's why this gravitational force which has a value of 1.9 into 10 to the power minus 60 newton it has only this gravitational force of attraction okay so here we have discussed some of the basic concepts introductory concepts related to the elementary particles or subatomic particles in the next videos we will be discussing about the concept of charge about coulomb's law about electric fields about uh, electric potential electric potential energy electric dipoles so we'll be discussing a lot of uh, these specific concepts and each video will be will be dedicated to one single concept so that we understand it uh, very clearly so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much